Hi everybody, good morning, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with a fun um, little kind of Tim Holtz haul. I've got a couple other things that are not Tim Holtz that were in there that I'll still share with you, but um, I'm super excited to have some new products from Tim Holtz to share. So the first thing, and these are from Stampers Anonymous, this first order. So the first thing I got was this catalog that I was super excited to get. It just has so much fun things in there. You can go through. I'm planning on going through and marking what items I have. Obviously, I don't have anywhere near as many items that are in this catalog. But it's got a picture pretty much of everything that's out right now. And even in the back, they have all the stencils. So I'm pretty excited to go through and mark what I have so that I don't repurchase because I've been having a really bad issue lately when I order stuff. I don't keep track and then I end up ordering it again. I'm sick of wasting my money. So I'm looking forward to that. And then the first thing I'm going to show you are these really cool um, foam mat type things. He uses them to keep his ink pads set down. So he'll put his ink pad on there and then it keeps it from moving, whereas opposed to being on here, when you go to stamp, it moves. So the pack comes with three, um, and I'm going to give those a try and see how I like them. And if I like them, I may get a couple more. I don't know if I'll need more than three, but... Um, and the next thing I purchased was some mixatives for my alcohol inks. I just started using my alcohol inks from watching his videos. So um, I got the gunmetal, the rose gold, and then the pearl. So I can't wait to use those and see what it's going to do for my projects. And then you can never have enough of his tags. So I did purchase two sets of his distress tags because I've been making a lot of tags, bookmarks, and whatnot. And I'm going through them like crazy. And then I got his cool splatter brush. I cannot wait to give that a try. He uses that a lot in his videos. And then I got some more alcohol Yupo paper because who cannot use that if you do an alcohol ink? And then I got this really cool stencil. I wanted to give it a try with all the different numbers and whatnot on it. So I can't wait to use that one. I don't know if it's got, this one is called, this is THS 145 Digits Layering Stencil. And then I've got some stamps that I purchased from him from them. So I've got the gun, the grunged stamp. And then I purchased the faded type. This is the newsprint and type. And then this one is my favorite. This is the fresh brew blueprints. I'm really into coffee lately, last couple of years, so I was excited to get that stamp set. And then from my next order is from uh, scrapbook.com. And one of the things I love is um, I love Catherine Pooler's sequence. So I did buy the three sets that I do not have. They always come like this, whether you buy them from her or from another retailer, but they come in these cute little containers. And they also come in the plastic bag. So that one is Soda Springs. And these are her newest ones. I have the other ones already. Because I use sequins pretty much on everything. This one is Summer City. And then last but not least is Seattle. Yep, I said that right. <laughs> I wasn't sure. And that's got some really pretty, like, I would use these for, like, fall projects. Those are really pretty. And then next I got a free stamp for placing an order and I've got the 49th and Market uh, exclusive stamp set. So it's just for scrapbook.com. So a little Christmas one, it's cute. And my last non-Tim Holtz is another exclusive. This was for scrapbook.com as well from all to new. It's winter florals. So I can't wait to use that. And I think it goes with right now they're doing Christmas in July. So I think that's why they have all these exclusives. And then my first dies that I bought, this is all of his new stuff that just came out. This is the Owl Thinlets Color Eyes. I cannot wait to create with him. He has got a ton of, his facial expression is just amazing. I love his facial expression. And I usually will take off, I usually rip off this part here. And then I'll tuck it inside my envelope like I'll show you 
like this one here I just tuck it inside the envelope so as you can see there's what is there 16 pieces in there so I'm excited to get using him and then the next one I purchased was the web I'm not sure if that's what it's called spider web yep that is what it's called spider web and this is just a two-piece set so it's got just the spider and the spider here and then the web and then the next one I purchased was the ornamental birds if I would have been smart I would have opened all this before I got on here so you're not listening to all that noise so and this one is again another really fun I can't it's even got the little string so you can make a little cutout like that and then last but not least of this is the holiday brush stroke I thought those were really pretty I can't this one I'm excited about so I might use that with the Ulta new Christmas stamp set but there we go all right well thank you so much for watching my haul video if you like haul videos I ask that you please subscribe and hit the thumbs up sign and I will see you next time bye